This is making me hate the series, Christine. I love these oh. rides too much. I don't want to put them. I don't want to see them fighting each other. Yeah. But we have to because the people ask for it. And when yeah. they want blood, we give them blood. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Disney World versus Disneyland. Disneyland versus Disney World. We forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a thing. Um, it's the series in which we pick two rides, one from Disneyland and one from Disney World, and pit them against each other. Talk about which ones we like more and why. And then you all either agree with us or get angry at us. Uh, yeah. This week, we're taking two attractions that uh, I hadn't even thought to put against each other, but uh, we had a couple of requests to do these two. So mm -hmm. today, we're going to be talking about Rock and Roller Coaster from Hollywood Studios in Florida and California Screamin' from Disney's California Adventure. When you think about it, ride system wise, mm -hmm. very similar. Roller coasters, launch, you know, uh, accelerated launch, yep. has an inversion, uh, thematically completely different. Yep. Uh, and so, outside, inside. Yeah, like rock and roll and then like old timey boardwalk. Yep. So, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, rock and roller coaster? Uh, sure. So, Rock and Roller Coaster is an indoors in the dark coaster um, that is Aerosmith themed. The whole idea is that you go to their studios for a behind the scenes tour of them recording, and then there's a show that they invite you and everybody else to. So, you all get on a super shush limo, and oh, that show's just about to start, so you need to go really, really, really fast to get to the show in time. Um, so you get to go out from, you know, seeing them in the studio to the uh, alleyway in the back, which now that I think about it, it's kind of creepy. And then you get on a limo and you go and you try to get to the concert in time. Um, and the whole ride experience has music blasting in your ears. There's, I think it's four different uh, combinations of Aerosmith songs you can hear. Um, you've got an awesome countdown with Steven Tyler actually counting down until you launch. Um, it's a 65 mile per hour launch. You've got three inversions um, and it's really cool. You're going through the Hollywood signs and it's all neon lights and stuff until you arrive at the concert, um, which is... You know, you get off and it's kind of like you... Over. It's over. Yeah. Do you... <laughs> like... yeah, it's over. I mean, the ride's like, what, a minute and 50-something seconds, I think? Yeah, I don't it think was, it's they call minutes. them micro-concerts, and Aerosmith yeah. is the pioneer of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's that's pretty much the entire uh, theme, anyway. Um, if you're an Aerosmith fan, it'll be really fun, even if you're not. I find it really fun. I mean, I'm an Aerosmith fan, so... But I, I think even if you aren't, you can appreciate them because they are a classic rock band. Like, you, yeah. they play the songs that everybody knows. It's right. not like you're going to go on there and be like, what the heck is this, you know, weird song I've never heard of. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely the biggest, I would say, thrill ride at Disney. Yep. Um, you know, they don't really do a lot of huge coasters like that, but comparatively to, like, say, Universal's coasters, like, this would be up there. Um, yeah, so that's Rock and Roll Coaster. Um, wouldn't it be awful if the ride was realistic and it counts down 3, 2, 1, and then you're in L.A. traffic for 45 minutes mm. and it just crawls along the tracks? Um... That is Rock and Roller Coaster. I do not have as comprehensive of a breakdown of California Screaming. I'll probably help you out a little bit, but go ahead. Uh, it is a it is a steel coaster made to look like a wooden coaster. This mm -hmm. whole area, this Paradise Pier part of the park, is made to be like an idealized version of you know 1930s you Coney know Island, boardwalk basically. Coney yeah. Island, right? Atlantic City, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, it similarly has a launch. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is the narrator for it. So yeah. not quite Aerosmith, but still pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, the part I'm really blanking on is, does it play music? It does. It does It does have music. its what own kind? music. It's its own original soundtrack, which I actually really like. But like, what um, style is it? Is it like 30s, like boardwalk no, music? Or you really is it don't like, remember this? I oh, really man. don't. After I'm this blanking. video, I'm going to send you a link of the music. <laughs> it does have music. Um, but it, it has the launch. It's got the inversion, which is really cool because it's, it's sort of like on this part of this, like Mickey, like 
graphic. Like it's yeah. the loop around. Which it's, is it's a an pretty iconic cool graphic I- yeah. for California Adventure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, on top of that, it's sort of half shielded, which is I find really uh, fascinating yeah. when you're going up the hill for the drop. Because even though it does have a launch, it also mm-hmm. does have a like slow climb. Yep. Uh, it is there's a semi tube covering the outer part, mm-hmm. and the reason for that being that Disneyland is so close to residential areas of California that they want to block the sound of everybody screaming and mm-hmm. the roller coaster. So that's partially why anytime you you on the ride have these like scream moments, it's sort of blocked off from view. Which I think maybe affects the the visuals a little bit, but mm-hmm. I, I kind of think it's cool looking, um, and it's it's just it's a big coaster. It's much larger oh, it's, than Rock and Roller Coaster. It, yeah. Um, Q I think has uh, doesn't measure up quite as much. It's yeah. More of a regular roller coaster Q, mm-hmm. um, but what it lacks in the Q, I think it makes up for in its size, and I think it really ties together the theme of Paradise Pier uh, very well, mm-hmm. and I think that's really important in my points to it as a ride is that it contributes to the theme of that part of the park in a way that Rock and Roller Coaster doesn't to its right. part of the park. Right. So, yeah, you still haven't mentioned what type type of music it is that plays. I I'm totally blanking. Is it just it, like rock and like roll a, or I, like, like it's not an old timey. It's like I don't know. It's like what Disney would do for a roller coaster. I don't know. I have to send you the, the music. <laughs> okay. I don't have like a genre for it. Well, before that, which one do you think is the better attraction? Drawing so, a line in the sand. This is really really hard for me. Um, and I almost want to say neither. Um, and, and the reason I say that, and I, I say neither or not is like they both suck. <laughs> Skip really them both. That's not it's so negative. I mean, they are just so different. I'm a huge roller coaster enthusiast. I freaking love them. I've been yeah. to almost every theme park on the East Coast. One of my dreams is to go across country and like ride all the roller coasters. Like, I love them. And so it's really hard for me to compare an indoor, smaller, you know, built coaster that's, that relies heavily on its theme and what I see as a very classic, huge, I love that it's steel and looks like it's wood. That's awesome to me. Yeah. Um, coaster. They're just such different experiences. Like, I feel like a coaster with a huge drop is a different kind of fear than than the tightly knit dark coaster or rock and roller coaster. Um, it's, it's just really hard for me. I think because California Screaming was the, the more f- new experience, I lean towards it a bit. Interesting. So let's, let's say that. Let, 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 I'll give my point to she California Screaming. She hates rock and roller coaster, loves California Screaming. You've Here's heard it here thing. first, folks. I've been on Rock and Roller Coaster so many times that I find it fun, but there is no fear involved in it. Right. To me, a big part of a roller coaster experience that I love is the fear. And man, was I scared going on California Screaming. So I feel like that's what sticks with me. That makes me give it the point um, because it was so new. And, yeah. and because that drop is huge. And I don't know. I think I'm almost a little more scared when it's outdoors. I don't know why. I think it's just more like you could feel the the wind in your face and i don't know um i but but to be fair it is winning by the tiniest bit because also we didn't even consider this what about the fact that world of color plays into like it uses the roller coaster like how yeah how many rides have like shows integrated with them besides Mm -hmm. like the great movie ride maybe and that's kind of with the outside um, that's, and I think, a very unique here's thing. Here's one more thing that detracts from Rock and Roller Coaster. Apparently, the same exact roller coaster layout exists in like some European amusement park. Who cares? I have to look it up, but it's literally. See, for me, being a coaster enthusiast, that's a big. That's a big. Like, oh. I can literally ride the same exact ride elsewhere. I don't know, Disney. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, I agree. I mean, when you look at Rock and Roller Coaster, it's just a box. <laughs> it's just a bit I mean it really is it's just a big box room right and yeah. you look at the way that California Screaming is really brought into the whole theme park um I, I think it also gets a little bit more for me there 
See, I'm I'm on a similar boat than you uh, as you. I I really feel torn, and I feel like if anything, this episode one makes me somewhat regret the series as a whole because I. But hate... it's a great ending because but, we're yeah, so right. Torn. <laughs> but two, it, it just goes to show you that a ride is so much more than just its mechanics. Because mm -hmm. mechanically, yeah, they're very similar attractions, but they couldn't be more different in every other measurable yeah. way and that makes it really tough to put one against the other yeah. um i'm in a similar boat i love them both i enjoy them a lot and i think they both do amazing things uh really well and some of them all lack in other departments mm -hmm. uh but unlike you i lean towards rock and roller coaster and that is because i am a big fan of theming and while rock and roller coaster from the outside does not add to the sunset boulevard theming at all uh, especially with the tower of terror there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it sort of goes against that well, like got classic hollywood yeah thing. yeah and that's weird though because at the end you have like this really old hotel from the 30s in Hollywood and then you've got like yeah. the Hollywood Bowl sort of you know Beauty and the Beast and then you've got a giant guitar um but on the inside I think the theming for the queue post show and pre show is really great mm -hmm. I think the art direction inside the ride when you're going around all of, like the exaggerated signs and the neon yeah. lights really fun the music is more memorable to me, but that's because I've written it so many times and I've written sure. California Screaming literally once, so yeah. I'm not going to hold that against it. Um, so for that, I lean towards Rock and Roller Coaster, but yet I love so many things about California Screaming. I love how it's tied into World of Color. I love how it brings that whole theme of the area together. Mm -hmm. um, did you know there are people who, like, look at Paradise Pier mm -hmm. in California Screaming in the same way we look at, like, Dino Land USA? In, really? in Animal Kingdom, where they look at it as sort of like, this isn't what Disney's about, which is so weird to me, because to but me... But it's so I, much better themed than what it's, Dino Land USA It is an idealized do. version of what it is mimicking, whereas Dino Land yeah. USA is just what it's mimicking too yes. accurately, in my opinion. But I, that just caught me off guard. And so maybe as people hmm. who are not local to Disneyland, we look at that, we give... We yeah. give it, yeah, a little more credit than others might, but yeah. uh, I just think they're two great rides. I hate making them fight each other. I will give some minus points for the marble walls, the doors in a rock and roller coaster because those things are full of germs. Oh, oh, oh yeah, but we give really a plus, plus points for the story maker wall uh, posters. Yes. Okay, so they even out. But like, yeah. if I have to hear someone going, <laughs> like, one more time. oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what, somebody, no, I'm not even going to say it, because somebody might do it, and then we'll get in trouble. So I'm not even going to say it. I'll tell you off camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments below which one you enjoy better. Remember, this series isn't about, like, people have gotten pretty heated up in the comments before. This There is no winner. There is no loser. Uh, these are great rides at the end of the yeah. day. It really boils down to preference and what you love about these things and sharing those elements that you love. Maybe there are aspects of uh, either ride that we just forgot to mention that are mm -hmm. worth bringing up. Let us know in the comments below. You can let us know on Twitter. I'm at Rob Plays. Christine, how could they reach you? I'm at Ivy Winter YT. And you can find on her YouTube channel a whole bunch of Disney content as well as mm -hmm. some video game content as well. How can they find that? Uh, if you search Ivy Winter on YouTube, you'll find me. Oh, and it's 2016. I'll just add a card with your your yeah. channel link there. So just click on that. Um, I would say give us suggestions for what to fight next. But uh, like I said, we're going to be putting we're this on hold yeah. until we get back to Disneyland. Yeah. And try it'll be like Rocky. It'll retire, but then it'll come back. Just or, or like Fast and the Furious. Just one last job <laughs> every yeah. two years. Just another one last job. Yep. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Disney videos, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. I do three a week. Have a great week. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.